gonna work out pretty slick. my best work in crowded areas. Hey everybody, Chris with Legendary Customs in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Thank you for tuning in. Behind me is a 1962 Ford Unibody. It is going on top of a 2011 Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. Basically what we're doing is we're building what I refer to as a dirty Ford. Underneath is a Crown Vic, 30,000 miles, came out of Washington State, zero rust, because they have no salt going on the road. So it's a really, really clean vehicle. On top was a very rough 1962 Ford Unibody. We got it out of North Carolina, and when I purchased it, it was told to be a clean body with no rust. The guy was very honest with me, because when you have a hole in the floor, several of them, that there's nothing there, I guess technically there's no rust there because it's gone. Basically, when it came in, it was an old, tired pickup truck. It was overworked, neglected a little bit, a lot of rust. So you're gonna see in some of the footage what it looked like prior to us getting started on it. For over the last two weeks, Kang and Zach have been working very, very diligently. One thing I would like to say is thank you guys very, very much for your hard work because it is very much appreciated. Without the two of you doing what you do on these vehicles, it'd be hard to turn what's in my imagination into reality, so thank you. But you're gonna see a lot of sanding, a lot of welding, a lot of fixing holes, all of that's necessary to bring this vehicle from what it was into what we want to make it be. Just beautiful. So what we had to do with this is we had to put in all new floors, the front and the back. The steps were gone. These were gone. The front pillar was gone about four or five inches up. The back pillar was gone and the front underneath for the body mounts to the, or the fender mounts, they were gone. Now this part and this part, I was not able to find online. Well, excuse me, the, back, the front part. So we actually had to buy another cab that was in good condition down below, but it was crushed up top. And we stole the parts off of that to make that work. So the long and short is, this is all new steel, um, ready to go. Now. We did add a third brake light to this. Our client would like the third brake light on there. It's a neat little kit. So if you wanna see how that was installed, we do have a video explaining beginning to end on that, how that works. Where we're at today on the dirty Ford, all of the rust is repaired. Um, now, the reason why we call it Dirty Ford is we had it sandblasted to clean up all the rust, so it's not going to rust any further. But when we repaint this, we're going to patina it. So it's not going to be a clean, dent-free truck. There's some dents on the side, just from years and years of use. It was a farm truck. We're going to leave all that. We're going to leave the character there. And when we repaint it, we plan on putting 
the patina back on it just to give it the old look. We have started welding in the, bot, the back support. This will be hooked to the Crown Vic frame. This is where the wood bed is going to sit on top of. I ordered a fuel cell from, for this, so we're not going to use the factory Crown Vic fuel cell. We were originally going to, but I found a um, fuel cell out of a Chevy, uh, a 1972 through 82 Chevy that is going to work out better. It's going to give us the fill over on this side versus on the top up in here. So it's going to be much easier to do what our client wants for a finished product. Um, we go around front, we have the Crown Vic. Now to make all this work, the whole front radiator support will move that way approximately two and a half inches. We're going to use the exact same support that came from the Crown Vic, take these three bolts out, move them back, re-drill them, re-tap them, so everything is going to be mounted just as it is. This front body support, however, that gets cut off, and I'm going from memory, we're going to have to figure it out, but on the last one, I think we took off four and a half to five inches of the Crown Vic frame to fit in the 1962 Ford front end, the, the radiator support. We're going to be using the power plant out of the Crown Vic, um, the suspension, transmission, everything is still there. We gained, we did a lot of work for three quarters of an inch. The top of the transmission, there's a vent, about a half inch, three quarters inch round circle. It's a vent for there. Well, we made it, that's the first thing that hits the cab. We cut that out and put in a dome over the top of it to get this three quarters of an inch lower than what we could without doing that, keeping the stock springs and everything. So we want this thing to be as low as we can get it, still have a great ride and not, uh, not cut any corners, I guess. For paint scheme, there's a real nice body line on the Ford Unibodies. bodies. So from this body line up is going to be Wimbledon white. It's a 1965 Ford color and that's going to be antiqued. From this body line down is going to be candy apple red. It's a nice um, rich red and of course that is going to be antiqued also. On the interior it's going to be perfect. So where you're sitting and enjoying that riding down the road this interior is going to be just perfect and it's going to be candy apple red with matching red seats. Red headliner, red doors, everything's going to be red. So it's really going to be a bright in your face thing. I think it's with the white as the transition color between the two, the contrast is really going to be a great combination. Now, on the inside, it was all butchered up for some stereo that I have no idea where it went, but we made it to a modern single din stereo. So this is going to end up with a Kenwood in it, and we're going to have four Kenwood speakers inside. But again, where you're sitting, this whole area is going to be beautiful, it's going to be perfect. If you only looked at the inside, you're going to expect this truck to be a full 10-point restoration to perfection. On the outside, like I said, the dirty Ford is going to look dirty, it's going to look worn. Underneath the hood, when you pop the hood, the engine bay is going to be the same way as the interior. It's going to be beautiful. So we're going for a little bit different theme here. Perfection where you're sitting and the rest of it, we pretty much don't care about. We want it to look rough. We want it to look like the old dirty Ford. Anyway, that brings you a little bit up to speed of where we are. We've dismantled the truck. We've media blasted the truck. We've done some body work here and there. We fixed all of the holes and uh, we're at a good stage. I believe next week or the following week, depending on the weather, we will be in paint on this thing. What we've had going on this week 
at Legendary Customs. We had a 1949 Pontiac come in. You're gonna see much more of that in the future. But we had to get the brakes in. The brakes had nothing there. So we put in cylinders all the way around, new brake line. I rebuilt the master cylinder. So now the brakes work perfect. Had zero spark. So now we finally got it to have spark and we found out that two cylinders have zero compression. So next week, we'll probably dig into that again, figure out exactly what's going on. But I do know two valves are sticking open. That would cause zero, zero compression. So that's been in. Earlier in the week, we went to Retro Rewind down in Dubuque, Iowa. I'd like to give a shout out to them. It was a great time. We took down the P57. It was received very well. Uh, in fact, Kathy and I, we were not able to leave the P57 for the majority of the show. People wanted to come in and talk about it. We uh, had a great time down there. So again, thanks for joining in. This is Chris with Legendary Customs in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Remember to like us on our Facebook, follow us on our YouTube channel, and on our Instagram. We really appreciate you tuning in, and uh, hopefully we'll bring a lot more interesting things to you so you can follow along and learn how to do some of this stuff at your own house if you'd like. All right, Chris from Legendary Customs, where we take something that's pretty ordinary and make it legendary. Appreciate it, thanks for joining us. Thank <laughs> you.